So Mike, uh, hello, we are here at uh, NATO Days and my first question is why does Czech Republic need new choppers, new machines? Well, I think it's a great question, and I think uh, you know the security situation in Europe uh, today uh, really highlights uh, why uh, the Czech Republic needs uh, more modern technology to uh, make sure that the, that they can provide for their defense uh, and and the interoperability with uh, other NATO countries. Right. So, um, I, you know. Having these Marine Corps aircraft uh, being built for the Czech Republic and being delivered in 2023 uh, will mark uh, a great uh, uh, upgrade for uh, the Czech Air Force. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, second one is uh, what makes uh, these choppers or these machines so special and what are, let's say, main technological differences between Venom and Viper? Yeah, it's a great question. So what's unique about this platform or these pair of platforms is the fact that they're 85% common. So you have an attack aircraft and a utility aircraft that share all the same rotor blades, transmissions, uh, electrical systems, the tail booms are fully, uh, fully interoperable. So uh, it, it really reduces your logistical footprint. And so with these aircraft, they're marinized, they're, they're you know, built to operate in uh, really rough environments. Uh, they're very robust, very reliable. Um, and again, the 85% commonality helps to reduce your logistics footprint uh, as you uh, operate in, in tough environments. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, my third question is, uh, uh, how long will it take to retrain Czech pilots to just American platforms, Venom and Viper? How long will it take? No, that's a really good question. Uh, we actually have Czech pilots in the United States training alongside our Marine Corps air, uh, pilots today. Uh, so they're going to have a tremendous amount of training even before these aircraft arrive. Then once the aircraft arrive in country, we'll have continued training for both uh, the pilots and the maintainers that are here uh, in Czech. Uh, and it, it, won't be, uh, it won't take very long at all to get them uh, up to speed on the new technology. And uh, Mike, uh, are you planning any other uh, projects, uh, any other significant projects apart from the, these choppers or machines in uh, Europe in general or in Central Europe in general? Yeah, uh, obviously we're always interested in uh, you know new opportunities, especially with uh, NATO countries, which is why we're here today. Okay, so thank you very much, and I wish you good luck with your new projects. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a good show. Bye bye. Bye.